Good afternoon, good morning, or good evening, depending on when you are watching this. This is the PowerPoint or presentation covering adjectives. As always, take notes and participate, and, the, and there will always be one hidden thing that you won't know and I won't tell you uh, to prove that you did watch the video. So here we go with adjectives. The eight parts of speech, noun, pronoun, adjective, verb, adverb, preposition, conjunction, and interjection. So we're now on the third part of speech, the adjective. And the adjective works with the noun and the pronoun, which is why we put it here. The basic definition of an adjective, and you can pause anytime you need to write something down, and I'm moving too quickly. The basic definition of an adjective is that it modifies a noun or a pronoun. So modify normally means to change in form or character, to alter it somehow. So if you modify your hair color, you change it. It can mean make it less extreme. It can mean make it more severe stronger, weaker. Modify doesn't have an explicit indication of strength, direction, or anything else. So in grammar, we need to make that very specific. <clears throat> in grammar, it means to qualify or limit the meaning. So it's very specific in that sense. So if we look at this example, summer modifies day in the phrase summer day. So we have a summer day, as opposed to a winter day, a spring day, um, an autumn day. So we have limited the number of days from 365 to eh, between 60 and 100. So we've cut it down to one quarter, approximately, of the total number of days that it could be. Now, I can continue to modify by saying it is a windy summer day. Okay, there are only so many days during the summer when it's windy. So that would modify and limit the specific day to which I'm referring even more. If I said a chilly windy summer day, which is strange within itself, I'm significantly modifying and significantly limiting. Now, the cool thing about adjectives is that you can put a whole bunch of them in front of your noun or pronoun. And if you've ever heard a little kid say it was really, 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 really hot, that's the type of thing that we want to avoid, putting too many of them in there. But if you are writing creatively. This is a very effective way to paint a picture for your reader. Possessive pronouns can function as adjectives. That is his book. Not just a book, but his book. So we're limiting the book it's his book, not her book, not your book, not my book. So possessive pronouns are the only pronoun that can function as a limiter. And one of the ways that we can tell if something is or is not an adjective is to identify which question it answers. So it's going to answer one of these three. What kind, which one, or how many. So what kind of noun or pronoun is it? Which one of the noun or pronoun is it? Or how many of the noun or pronoun are there? So what kind, which one, how many? What kind, which one, how many? What kind, which one, how many? There is one little weird thing, and I don't know why grammarians do this, 
but <clears throat> they decided that the teeny tiny little words the, a, and an in the English language needed to have their own subcategory called article. The good thing is that all articles are also adjectives. The bad thing is that all articles are also adjectives. I don't know why they do this. They, they create lists within lists within lists. So all you have to remember is that a, an, and the are always going to function as an adjective. Now, they're going to modify a noun or a pronoun. Those are the only three articles there will ever be, and they will never be anything other than an adjective. So now I want you to turn to a clean sheet of paper where you can't see any of the notes that you just did. And you have two minutes to write down as many adjectives as you can come up with. Ready, set, go. One minute. Thirty seconds. Fifteen. Ten. Five. Stop and count your adjectives. If you need to pause while you do that, feel free. All right, identify the adjectives in this sentence. Now remember, and we're gonna do this together, so don't freak out, but remember that all adjectives have to answer one of the three questions. What were the three questions? Which one, how many, what kind? or they are a what, write down that word. So I want you to look for the nouns. So write this sentence down. The two dark cats were walking on the fence. If you need to pause and write it down, please do that. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to circle the nouns. So I want you to find any nouns, and remember nouns are people, places, things, or ideas. Find any of the nouns that you can and circle them. Now the other thing that I didn't tell you about adjectives is that they always go in front of a noun. So write that down. They always go in front of a noun. Now there are going to be a whole bunch of them, but they're always going to be in front of the noun. They're going to be connected to the noun in some way. 
So let's look at what the nouns in this sentence might be. So if we go from the beginning backwards, because remember, it's the adjectives are always going to be in front of the noun. If we go from the beginning of the sentence backwards, the two dark cats, oh, there's a noun. Now we're gonna go backwards. Does dark explain one of those three, uh, or answer one of those three questions about cats? If so, write down which one it is. Now we can keep going, but we have to remember that adjectives only modify the noun or the pronoun, not any other word, just the noun or the pronoun. So the way that we do this is we can say, and we know that the is an article functioning as an adjective, so we can say the cats. We can say dark cats. Can we say two cats? because everything has to connect back to cats. If you can do that with the words in front of your noun or pronoun, and it doesn't sound weird, like walking fence, <laughs> then you are identifying adjectives because they are modifying that noun, just like we talked about a cold, windy summer day. Okay, so the two dark cats. Dark cats, that works. Two cats, that works. The cats, that works. Now you need to write these three words down and explain or jot down which of the three questions they answer. Then we're going to move along, so pause if you need to. We're going to continue looking for nouns, word, and walking up on it. Oh, there's a fence. Okay, we've got fence. We know that the is an article functioning as an adjective, which is what you need to write down. But there's nothing else because on fence, that doesn't work. The fence does work. So we have the, two, dark, and the. And here's what they answer. The is an adjective functioning, or I mean an article functioning as an adjective. Two answers the question, how many? Dark, what kind? It could also be which one, so don't freak out if you put down which one. That's okay. Those two have a tendency to kind of go back and forth depending on the sentence. I'm not going to mark you wrong if you have one of the two and I think it's the other one. The only one that cannot be uh, swapped out is going to be the how many, obviously, and then the articles. All right, let's try another one. These southern countries have dry weather. So the first thing I want you to do is write down the sentence. Pause if you need to. Then circle the noun. When you finish that, I want you to find which words in front of any nouns might be adjectives. And I want you to write them down and write down, or actually I want you to underline them. And I want you to draw an arrow back to the noun that they modify. And on that arrow, I want you to write down what the question is that they answer. So if we're looking at this, these, these is a pronoun, right? But remember we said what kind of pronouns can function as adjectives? Oh, okay, so let's keep going backwards. These southern countries, oh, countries. Countries is a noun. Do we have southern countries? Yeah, sure. We can also have northern countries, eastern countries, western countries. Sure. So southern is going to be an adjective modifying countries, and it's going to explain what? Then we have these, which is a possessive pronoun functioning as an adjective. Remember, we talked about that. It, but it answers one of those three questions as well. 
write down which one. So you're going to draw an arrow from these to countries, from southern to countries, and on that arrow, you're going to write down the question that it answers. And then we're going to keep going, have, dry, weather, oh, weather is a noun. Now, what kind of weather? Dry weather. Oops, I just gave you the answer. So draw an arrow from dry to weather, and on that arrow, I want you to write what kind. Here are the answers. These, southern, and dry. Now, write this one down as well. If you need to take a minute, pause, do that. The chocolate one is his last cookie. The chocolate one is his last cookie. Now this one could be tricky. If you did not think about the fact that there is a pronoun that is replacing a noun, we can tell people who are native English, American English anyway, speakers, quite often because they will not replace a noun in a sentence with a pronoun. Native English speakers will do that automatically because we've heard it our whole lives. When we are uh, when we are speaking, when we are writing, we do not put a word, a noun, twice in a sentence or in close proximity to itself because then we sound like we're repeating it. So what we do is we exchange one or every other one of the nouns for a pronoun. This is one of those cases. Cookie. If we said the chocolate cookie is his last cookie, you see how strange that sounds? But if we say the chocolate one is his last cookie, that works because we've replaced one of the two cookies with the pronoun one. Now here's how we can tell. Could we say the chocolate cookie is his last one? Absolutely. Because you can flip the noun and the pronoun back and forth. They're, they mean the same thing. It doesn't matter in which position they are sitting. Your choice. So basically, the word one is functioning as a replacement for the word cookie. So could we have a chocolate cookie? Yep. Could we have the cookie? Yep. Since we know the cookie is the word, can we have a last cookie? Absolutely. Could we have his cookie? For sure. So we have a whole bunch of adjectives that are modifying cookie and one, which is also modified or is exchanged for cookie. So in this case, the, chocolate, his, and last are all adjectives. And they are modifying one, which is a replacement for the word cookie. So when you're writing and you are talking about an expert, Mr. I don't know, Johnson. Mr. Johnson is an expert on diesel engines. Therefore, Mr. Johnson is the person that we need to ask if we have a question. Mr. Johnson's expertise came in the fact that Mr. Johnson went to school. Do you see how silly that sounds? But if we say Mr. Johnson's expertise is in diesel engines, which is why we ask him when we have an issue, that makes more sense. That is Native American English speaking, and we recognize when somebody is not. We also recognize when somebody is confused about where to put pronouns in uh, formal writing. So here's the rule. And I want you to write this down. Every other one is his last cookie. That's all you need to remember. Every other one is the cookie. 
So every other Mr. Johnson is a he. Every other Ms. Johnson is a she. Every other cookie is a one. Now, I want you to do exactly what you did with the previous in finding and explaining. So is it a possessive pronoun functioning as an adjective? Is it an article functioning as an adjective or does it answer one of the three questions? So I want you to write these four down. I want you to circle the nouns and I want you to draw arrows from one to another. So from whatever your adjective is to the noun and on that line, I want you to tell me why and explain why that adjective is modifying that noun. You can turn all your stuff in on Classroom or you can bring it in in person. Totally up to you. Let me know the next time I see you in person if you have any questions and um, ask me for your quiz. Thanks. Have a good one.